Assalamu alaikum in this lesson we will do the comprehension of the poem in spite of war of class 10 kbk board Question number 1 What are the things that thrive despite the ravages of war Answer Nature thrives despite the ravages of war and shows signs of pleasure and hope Lilacs tulips daisies roses all are happy in their natural cycle The clouds are playing energetically with the sea Even the mind and heart of the poet at the time of war are laughing. These things show that despite the destruction and devastation of war, everything in nature is beautiful and full of hope and joy. Question number 2. What are some of the different words and images used in the poem that convey the emotion of loss? Answer The poet has used many words to convey the emotions of loss. In literature, images are those words which are used by the poets to create a picture in the mind of the readers. The words which convey the emotion of loss are war, death, suffering, and hate. While the images which convey emotions of loss are guns roaring, Canon burns and nightmares. Question number three, in the poem, in spite of war, there are several examples of personification. Identify two examples of personification. Explain what is being personified and how in each example. Answer: Personification is a figure of speech used by the writers. to give human qualities to non-human objects there are various examples of personification in this poem following are the two examples of personification when fancies lift their eyes to me tulips are tripping down the path in these lines the poetess has personified fancies and tulips in the first line The poet is says that the pansies lift their eyes to me which is a human quality. In the second line the poet is says that the tulips are tripping which is also a human quality given to a non-human thing. This is called personification. There are some more examples of a personification in the poem too. Question number 4 Make a list of the words that tell you about the tone of the poem in spite of war and explain how those words tell us what the tone is. Use examples from the poem to back up your reasoning. Answer: Tone is the mood created by a piece of writing. The tone of this poem is very optimistic and encouraging. Following are the words which tell us about the tone of the poem. laughs sings blooms courage rejoice glory and ecstasy in this poem angela morgan says that despite the destruction and devastation of war everything in nature continues as usual in order to support my reasoning i may refer to the following examples something within me laughs and sings Lilacs are blooming at my gates. Courage, the morning glory saith. Question number 5. What is the theme of the poem in spite of war? Answer. The theme of the poem is life should be enjoyed despite the happenings of the terrible things. Angela Morgan encourages us to look at the beauty around us. rather than to focus on the negative aspects of our life she says that in spite of war 
and other negative things. Life continues as usual and activities of nature continues as if nothing were happening. So, we should not focus on our worries and should enjoy life to the fullest.